Next thing I'd like to do is just cover the control panel one more time, uh, show you what we've already done and, and add a couple new things actually. Uh, the first button here, the test button, that's what we're going to do to make sure that we have all the proper settings. We're going to do the test cut, make sure it's cutting well. Uh, what we do is just hold that in until it starts cutting and release it and we're done with that. The origin button is what we went over before to get it in the proper place exactly where you want it on the material to start cutting and all we have to do is push that button and wait until it stops blinking on the screen, let it go, and that's where it's going to set. The pause button is something that we haven't covered yet. All we have to do to activate this button is just push it. The cutting is going to stop. You can make your adjustments if you need to and just uh, hit it one more time to, uh, to continue cutting where you left off. Next four buttons here, the up, down, left, and right arrows, these are going to be used to control within the menu as well as to uh, on the left hand side to control your blade to the left and the right to control the blade to the right. Now your up and down is actually going to move your material forward out of the machine and the back arrow button is going to push it back into the roll. Next thing we're going to do is go down here to the menu, hit the menu button. First thing that comes up is something called unsetup. Just want to mention this pretty briefly. Unsetup just means that when we originally loaded this material in, we pressed enter to scan it. We just want to undo that. Maybe you have some changes you want to move from piece to roll or back and forth. All we have to do is go to this unsetup, and it, the same is true with anything in the menu. To select it, we just have to hit the enter button. It'll go ahead and unset up everything that we've set up before, and you can go ahead and scan it for new settings. I'm just going to go down in the menu, something called condition. We're going to hit the right arrow button to activate condition and see what we have inside. The first thing is the force, which also we know that we can use this button right here to do the same thing. But just to show you within the menu, we're going to hit the right arrow button. That's going to activate the menu item. We're going to hit the up button or the down button to lower the force. Now if we want to save this, all we have to do is press enter. In this case, I'm not going to. I'm just going to go back to the left and see what else is in here next thing that comes up is your speed. Now the speed is just how fast from left to right the blade is actually going to be cutting on your roll. For different scenarios you may need to adjust this. All we have to do is go ahead and hit the right arrow button. That activates it. Now we're going to hit the up or the down to see whatever we want it to do. Uh, if we need to raise or lower the speed and hit enter. I'm just going to go back out of here. Down one more time. Last thing that I really like to mention in, in the, uh, the menu here is the offset. The purpose of this is sometimes we need to change from 45 to 60 degree blade depending on the material. Now with changing the blade we also need to adjust the offset. The uh, process here is the same to change the offset. Just hit the right menu. Uh, we have up and down to adjust that. And then we'll go ahead and press enter if we need to save the setting. At this point I'm just going to hit the menu to get out of here. Um, all those are, are the basic functions that we wanted to tell you about. Um, you can read the, you know, additional things in the, in the manual about uh, some more precise settings if you need to. We're just going to move over here to force. Again, we're going to show you how to adjust the force just with this button. There's a quick button here because you use it a lot. We're going to hit that. Go to the right to activate it. We can hit the up and down buttons and enter to save our setting. Uh, and back to menu with the menu button, of course. The enter button we've we've already explained just to select your menu option. I'm going to drop down here. We see something called pen force. I just want to explain this to everybody. Um, typically, we call the the Roland GX24. You you hear it termed as either a cutter or a plotter. Um, when you hear it termed as a plotter, what that means is you can actually put a pen instead of a blade in here and and plot with it rather than cutting. So that's really what the pen force is for our purposes with our CAD cut and heat transfer. Uh, film. We don't need to worry about this. Now, the last thing that I wanted to do today, uh, pertaining to the setup of the roll and of the machine, is to go ahead and tell you about two sensors that we have on the machine for you. What I want to do is just uh, go ahead and, and unlock the lever here. We're going to take the material out. I just want to point out the sensor here in the front. There's also one in the same area on the back that you really can't see. Now. I want to explain to you, these sensors do a couple different things. Um, number one, when you have the material loaded and you're uh, using our menu items over here, the, the front 
in the top arrow to either pull the material through or push it back. I want to let you know that these sensors know when the material is in there and when it's not. A couple reasons you need to know that. Number one, you know that by hitting your arrow buttons, you're never going to force the roll of material out. It's always going to hold it in there, number one. Um, another good thing about these sensors is they're going to tell you if the sheet is actually unloaded. Sometimes you have a thin film and it may be slippery or something like that. You're cutting too fast and it may come dislodged. Now what that's going to do is that's going to cause the blade to actually cut uh, kind of skewed lines. It's not going to be what you want it to do. So what these sensors are going to do is tell you over here on the menu that the sheet is unloaded, just like we have right here. Now what we need to do when we see that is just to go ahead and stop everything we're doing and we need to go through the setup process of loading the material again because it's come dislodged. Um, the last thing that I really want to mention about these sensors in addition to everything that we've said is every once in a while you can get a material that has a, a, a shiny shininess to it. Maybe you're uh, looking through the mylar, maybe it's a holographic film like this. Uh, oftentimes it's even a black CAD cut film. Uh, what that's going to do is actually kind of trick these sensors into thinking that the, the roll is actually unloaded. Um, just a quick fix to that, you saw the sensors here in the front and the back, all we have to do is go ahead and take a piece of maybe uh, uh, masking tape or duct tape, just some, some type of tape that's going to be opaque and, and block these sensors and that way uh, you, can, you can fool the machine into thinking that the roll is really there, which it is. Well, that's about all with, uh, with concerns of the, the blade, the control panel, and setting up the roll. Good luck with everything else.